Hey guys, it's Liger Zero. I am here today with a short video on how to add mods to your local FTB server. Now, this is not a an incredibly hard thing to do, luckily. Really all you need is the server file and the mod you want to add. In order to get the server file, you just get it from the FTB launcher. Just click download server, make sure you have the one you want selected in the drop down menu and you'll get a zip file. When you get that zip file and unzip it, you'll get a folder that's like this. This one's just for FTB infinity, which will contain a few folders and some extra files in there. One of which will be the mods folder. This folder contains all the mods that are currently in the mod pack. Now, if you want to add anything to the mod pack, really all you need to do is download the mod you want. Make sure you download any dependencies that come with it. So like for Rotary Craft over here, you need to have Dragon API of an equal version to whatever the Rotary Craft is. Same with Reactor Craft. And then you just take these files and you drag them into, well, there we go, got all three finally. Drag them into the mods folder. And I already have them in there right now, so I'm just going to click replace. Bam, now they're in. And once you've done that, all you need to do is go and start up your server. It'll find the new jar files, include them in the startup. And once you get into the server, the new mod should be there. They'll be in the NEI for you to look at. They'll be able to be crafted in the crafting table, etc., etc. Now, one issue you might run into is, you know, when you add something new in there's always the possibility of conflicts you might have something out of date if you run into conflicts you might get something like this now you'll see here it says conflict potion IDs um, this particular witchery potion is conflicting with something in rotary craft and Rika is very good about yelling at you and saying this isn't a bug don't go posting about it don't go asking for support because we'll make fun of you because I'm telling you exactly what to do here but that's just Rika. Um, that's a pretty easy one to fix. All you need to do is pop over to your config folder and find the witchery. There we go. Witchery config file. And in here, you'll notice that there are different IDs for items. So we need to find these potions spiked. Um, we'll do a spiked. Boom so mod ID or item ID 35 so I changed 35 to something else maybe like 435 or something like that save it restart and see if it works past it if it hangs up on another one change that ID until no more IDs are conflicting and the server starts all the way and once you do that BAM you're golden and you can start playing with that mod now just like with the remote server, you need to make sure that anybody who now wants to come onto your server has all the different mods that you just installed. And usually, as a nicety, if you're going to modify a config file to change the IDs, you either need to give them the IDs or the nice way to do it, just hand them the whole config file to put in their client. That way, they don't have to worry about... Um, adding all the stuff in, changing it all themselves. Otherwise, it, they're gonna try and come on and it's instantly gonna kick them off because their IDs are gonna be conflicting. I hope this definitely helped you out, guys. I know that uh, it was a little bit interesting learning this myself, so I hope this saves you some time. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like and maybe subscribe for more content, and I hope to see you again another time. Until then, game on.